as Anton Kaplarov uh, prepares to open the uh, hatch on the Poisk module side of the docking interface. He's joined there by uh, NASA flight engineer Scott Tingle, providing a little extra elbow grease uh, to conduct that. Uh, these hatches can be a bit stubborn. Uh, following the equalization of pressure, they need to be burped just a bit to get that uh, extra bit of air out of uh, the passageway. They're working in tandem here to open the hatch, and there it goes. So the Poisk module hatch uh, has been cracked open at uh, 4.32 right, cool. p.m. East, uh, Central Time, 5.32 p.m. Eastern Time. Station hatch is open. You can start equalizing pressure. Copy. Okay. Do it. Do it. That's great. Now it is moving. Okay. Not so fast. And the Soyuz hatch now open at uh, 4.48 p.m. Central Time, 5.48 p.m. Eastern Time on this Friday afternoon. The Soyuz hatch is open, and we'll be seeing the three new residents of the International Space Station just a moment or two from now. Now let us try another attempt. And here we go. Hatch fully open now, and in will float the new residents. Go ahead. Ricky Arnold, first to board the, the International Space Station. So what is the smell on the station? It's kebab. Followed uh, by his NASA astronaut colleague, Drew Feustel. Soyuz Commander Oleg Artemyev to follow. And you're seeing uh, the six uh, crew members, Expedition 55, now uh, a six-person crew. Oleg Artemyev, uh, the Soyuz commander, who uh, monitored the automated approach of the Soyuz for its docking to the Poisk module a few hours ago. Uh, front and center, flanked uh, on his left by Drew Feustel, on his right by Ricky Arnold. In the back row, uh, Nurashige Kanai, Anton Shkaplerov, the station commander, and on the top right of your screen, NASA's Scott Tingle. <laughs> 